Oh this is probably the craziest conspiracy I have ever heard. When you look around you at your parents, your children, your siblings, your friends, the theory states that they are not actually alive, and neither are you. But how could this truly be possible, right? How can we still feel pain if we're already dead? How are we all as a collective dead? Well, there are two things that have been documented to occur after we are clinically proclaimed dead. Number one being, that your whole life flashes before your eyes. And number two, our brain lives on for another seven minutes after we are proclaimed dead. For those seven minutes, your brain lives on through a dream-like state reliving memories. You may have heard of this man, Albert Einstein, who stated that time is relative meaning time can be different between people if other variables are different. For example, when you go to sleep and dream, it could feel like 7 minutes or it could feel like 70 years. Just like those 7 minutes your brain is still alive as you are living in a dream-like state. So, when did we all collectively die? 2012, which was said to have been predicted by the Mayans. And we are now living through a shared consciousness, and as we attempt to collectively remember memories, this is where the Mandela effect comes in. So some people will remember certain things being a certain way whereas the next person will remember this differently. So, over to you. What's the craziest conspiracy you have ever heard? Let me know in the comments.